What's up, guys? I'm Salty Sicilian, and here we have yet another video discussing Escape from Tarkov. As always, my channel is dedicated to discussing Tarkov mechanics, balancing changes, and standing up for the little guy, the new players, the casual players. We got to stand up for those guys. So anyway, let's get into it. So Tarkov is an extraction looter shooter, right, with RPG elements. Except for the fact that the soft skills are not realistically attainable by, I'd say, 90% of the player base. And the soft skills are not really realistic at all. Look, I get it. You have to start people off really low so they can work up to a more realistic level because there's just not that much variation in real life. But good grief, man. Just stamina where it stands is just, it's silly. It's plain silly. I don't know how we've gotten so used to it being this way, but if you actually back up and think about it, it's actually ridiculous. Like, did you know that people, like humans, run 5Ks? Like, they do it like they want to. They sign up to do it. Sometimes they even pay money to do it, you know? Run three miles more all the time people do it. Okay. It's as if we were an 80-year-old smoker, smoked a pack a day, and you just gave us a backpack and a helmet and said, go out there and loot. You know, between inertia and the weight changes, stamina being like nothing, your stamina dropping to nothing whenever you get shot. I mean, look, Tarkov already has a pretty severe movement incentive disorder, as I would call it. I mean, there's not much incentive to move. And I talk about that a little bit in some of my other videos. So I'll link one of those right here, such as the way that audio relates to movement. And the reason why no one wants to move is because everything you do makes a sound. So anyway, you can watch that, argue with me about that as well. But I think that Tarkov is struggling from this lack of movement and it wouldn't hurt if we had more stamina or, oh man, drum roll, what if we could always run, but it just slowed down to a very slow jog? Other games do it. Squad does it. Maybe we could have it to where you can always sprint, but it slows down dramatically to a slow jog once you hit a certain amount, once your stamina bar runs out like Squad does, or maybe you could make it to where once your X amount of kilograms, that's how you run, but... I think we have to address an issue about this looter shooter that punishes you for looting. I'm pretty sick of that. Heaven forbid you wipe a squad at the beginning of a raid. And why did that happen? That happened because they could hear you because you can hear everything. And why did that happen? Because they spawn right next to you. And why did that happen? Because there's too many players in the raid and it's squeezing us all close together and our spawns suck. So the best you could do is insurance fraud your stuff and then wear some of their stuff because then if you die, maybe you don't lose your stuff. But then you have to make your way across the entire map now that you're 65 kilograms and you can't sprint and you got to do this stupid crawl thing unless you bring a mule and an SJ6, which is once again just gatekeeping the casual and new players from being able to bring that stuff. And so the guys who need the loot the most can't get it. And so say you finally made it through the map with all that stuff and all the player scabs that are spawning by the time you get halfway there because it's such a long way to go whenever you gotta crawl every five seconds you finally get out and you can't even sell any of it so it's just like the looter shooter is punishing us so severely for looting I just want to alleviate that a little bit please alleviate that a little bit and I'd be rather happy if we could work out something with a stamina where we can actually run for a reasonable distance and maybe even keep up our pace whenever we're exhausted as well, because that's what they do in real life. And it doesn't require you to hit max endurance or some crap like that, because that's not even an achievable goal, realistically, for most people, like I said. I mean, either that or just nerf the weight system a little bit. I don't I don't know. I don't know. You could do it multiple ways, but I think that it would just, it'd be better for the game. It'd be better for the game because we can move and we want to loot and we want to run around and we want to shoot people and we want to loot. So why is that so complicated? It's almost like Nikita does not want us hatchet running 
or pistol running just to the loot spots and then getting out, but it's like he made a game to where that's the best way to do it, you know? It's so many things that happens in Tarkov are changes made by BSG to prevent us from having a certain play style, which is pushing us to this other play style that they don't want. Or maybe they do. I don't know what they want. Because I don't know what Tarkov is really supposed to be. It's not a battle royale. It's not a... What, what is it? If it's an RPG, then RPGs aren't really that PvP focus. I don't know if, how many RPGs you've played, but you can mostly avoid it if you want to. So is it Call of Duty with extra steps? I mean, what is it supposed to be? I don't know. I'm kind of getting into a whole different identity crisis that plagues Tarkov anyway. But at the core, at the core of the issue, I think that stamina could be buffed or weight could be nerfed and it would be better for everyone. Or why don't we make endurance easier to achieve? Because max endurance is really not so bad. That's more realistic. But still, in real life, you can keep up the pace even when you're exhausted. I mean, please just give us that. We actually need it. We really need it. In this game, we need it more than other games. I mean, don't you find it funny that we make these changes that are like, add the weight system, now you have inertia, now you have this, but yet you can still bunny hop across the map when you're wearing a couch backpack and a defender armor and an Alton. And as long as you use these certain drugs and you play this game enough to have max everything, you can just bunny hop around corners and jiggle peek. Every, you know, like, I don't... I could go on about this forever because I just don't see how they don't see the obvious thing right in front of us. It's, it's like the things that make your game realistic are these things, and the things that make them not realistic are these things, and they, they get those mixed up. So just to, to reel it in here, I don't want to make this a super long video because I could probably talk about it for two hours. Like, you have to see the fact that a lot of the changes BSG makes are looking through a glass that only sees the streamers and the people that play for 50 hours a week. And I think we need to get away from that pattern. I really do. Because, yes, they play it a lot. They know the game very well. Yes, sure. But it should not be balanced around those people. The current stamina system is 100,000% balanced around those people because it's atrocious. I would propose that even at level 1, you could at least jog your way through customs and not have to slow down until you've at least ran, I don't know, 100 yards it's it's not even asking for that much but i think it would be a really good change for the game i think it would really promote movement and it would alleviate some of the fear that as you're running across the street that you have to run across you're not going to get hit one time and then have no stamina and then just have zero chance now you just got no chance and so what's your answer to that you should have checked all your corners you should have scoped in on every single bush i mean what you know there's not enough time in the raid to even check every possible place that someone could be and you have to look at something closely here, okay? And when I say this, this does not just relate to stamina. I want you to think about the word realistic. Really think about it, okay? Tarkov is a pretty realistic game. Yeah, I'll give it that. Realistic features. But in real life, you have so much more movement, fluidity, and choices in your movement than you ever could in a video game. And it's got to remember that, okay? If you're in the middle of putting on a bandage and you get shot at, you could just drop it and, and grab your gun. You wouldn't take the time to put it back in its neat little kit and then, you know, throw it in your backpack. I mean, there's a hundred examples like that. You know, you have control of all different kind of ways that you move in real life. You can feel when something's going on with you. You're not just gonna fall over and die of energy. There are a lot of little, things that can't translate to a video game they they just can't nor do i really want them to i mean what are we what are we going to have gas are we going to have indigestion after we eat you know like not everything needs to be realistic but it's just kind of funny that we cherry pick what's realistic and then we say stamina nope he gets tired after 50 feet you know I mean, think of all the different positions that you could fire your gun from in real life. The bracing, the amount of, I mean, the, 
things you could peek through. It just, it doesn't translate. So therefore the balancing in a game that's trying to be realistic is to give us movement, to give us ways to react to things because in real life we have ways to react to things that we don't have as an option in a game. You know what I mean? So anyway, I think that's going to end my rant. I'm going to have several videos that are about different movement incentives because I think that's one of the biggest crutch of Tarkov. And I felt like I loved the game a lot more back before Inertia and the weight limit. And I'm not saying that we should remove it. I'm definitely not. I just think it needs to be fine-tuned and it needs to be thought about with an open mind about what is realistic, but also the other way around. What can we do that we can't do in the game? And then why does that give us a pass on some of these other things that maybe you can't do in real life that you can do in a game? So think about that. Anyways, I just recently got affiliate on Twitch. That was just yesterday. I highly appreciate that. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much. Anyone who has supported me by even commenting or liking my videos, it's meant the world to me. And if you come hang out on Twitch, my Discord link's there. Pop in. Let's play a raid. Let's talk about this stuff. I love talking about mechanics. And uh, I play with viewers and commenters all the time. So let's, let's hang out for sure. Also, feel free to comment any ideas you may have or mechanics that you'd like to discuss, or maybe I'd make a video about it and we could get the conversation started. Because on this channel, it's not about, oh, I'm the best player, I'm such a giga chad, yada yada, meta, 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 meta. No, I am just a realistic, casual dude, and I want to play the game and have it make sense and be the best game of all time, which I think Tarkov has the potential to be. So... Anyways, this is Salty Sicilian. I will catch you next time on my next Tarkov video.